All right, just a short little video here real quick of my Skywalker. This is the 1900 EPO Black Skywalker. Got it from BevRC.com. And uh, for those of you that have Skywalkers, you know that these usually come with a two-piece wing. And one of the first things I did was put this wing together as a one-piece. I've got large vehicles, so I'm not really worried about having to transport it or anything like that, take it out and part. And I wanted it a lot more sturdy, stable wing. So I'll turn it over and show the carbon fiber tubes and that in a second here. But one of the things I did on the top was I cut a channel all the way across from, from that aileron all the way over to this side here and put in five millimeter pieces of carbon fiber and they overlap from about here to here uh, on this. And so from here, in the middle there's actually two pieces of carbon fiber going each way I epoxied those into place into that channel really good and sturdy and then uh, covered it up with uh, Gorilla Tape on that top make sure that stays in there good and solid and I'll take the wing here on the bottom this carbon tube that I did in here, I epoxy that in as well, solidly. Uh, then I put my servo wires, spliced them in together, and uh, then put these channel blocks into place and epoxy them in as well. Uh, so they're good and solid. Uh, put some tape over the flap uh, holes that come with that. I don't have flaps just yet. Uh, maybe in the future, we'll see. So this, this wing is extremely, extremely sturdy. It ain't hardly bending at all and uh, we'll see how it does once we get it up into the air. The next thing I'll show you is uh, the actual fuselage here. Uh, and this idea for the cockpit, uh, for, the, for my GoPro and my uh, view cam, this I actually got from a uh, guy on the internet, Doug Engel, and I trimmed off just a little bit of the bottom of this cockpit, this shoe, and I made room for a little bit of piece of plywood in there. And once I got the plywood in, then I raised up, a, put a little riser in here and put a digital servo. And then I built this kind of a, a shoe or whatever you want to call it here and attached it on the bottom to the servo, this digital servo. And then I just basically ran the uh, view cam right in the front and with the GoPro uh, Hero 3 up on top. That's a silver edition, very small, very lightweight. And with this configuration, the view of the, of the GoPro, you can just barely see the tip of this uh, viewing camera in the front of it, so it doesn't have hardly any obstruction at all. Being on that digital servo, I can completely turn it all the way from 90 degrees either direction. And back to forward. Doug has a, a little pin on his, a little yellow pin that sticks out in dead center, and uh, that way he knows when he's facing forward again. I like that idea. I haven't done it yet. To hook this in, I essentially, I love Velcro, but I put a nice great big chunk of Velcro on here. can hardly even get it off with one hand. And then it just opens down in there. And you can kind of see here on the bottom how I have that digital servo mounted in there. Up top I just have the feed for the ailerons on here. My two GPS's, one for the uh, OSD uh, or the uh, F21AP and the OSD. F21 Oops. I have nice and mounted right here up on top of my receiver. Got a nice little piece of foam on there so it's going to be nice and cushioned and soft and in the back using a Hornet OSD. Another idea that I got from Doug was uh, this motor mount setup. The way that they tell you to mount these motors has you putting the screws in the back and then putting the epoxy on and, and mounting the wood straight to the foam and then you can't get it off. I wanted to be able to take mine off in case I ever want to change my motor. Uh, so I used this little wood piece here, uh, doubled it up, epoxied it into place really good and solid and then just mounted, screw mounted the motor to it. Uh, 
video transmitter. The other thing that I did back here was that I put in two cross crossbars right here from down here in the fuselage all the way up onto the bottom and just to give some cross stabilization on that there's a lot of talk about these things getting wobbly in the air and uh, just wanted to get this thing as sturdy as absolute possible there's another carbon fiber rod uh, strip going across the top of, or across the bottom there uh, I still have yet to I'm going to put another one from here around uh, right in through here just to make it even more sturdy uh, gorilla tape the leading edges as I did with the main wing and uh, getting pretty darn close to our first flight uh, the other thing I did was our ground station uh, this here I used a uh, tripod as I got another idea from Doug and uh, made a little box for the battery in that I've got a little secondary viewing screen uh, for anybody that might want to hang out and, and watch what's going on. And then the video tra uh, receiver. This is the patch antenna. That's what I'm using right now. Later I plan to use uh, other antennas and that. But this, I made it extra big so that I have room to grow and, and change things around if I want to. And then a nice little hook to hang your goggles on. All fits on a tripod, which I can just pull right off and uh, stow away into the rig collapse the tripod and you're good to go so that is the uh, the Skywalker at this point and uh, hopefully I think we're going to try and take her out tomorrow if the weather is permitting and uh, everything comes together so we'll see thank you